Hello, hello, hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna continue watching Supernatural. We are in season four and episode 11 and I am very excited. If you are new here, hello, welcome in. My name is Cora. It is so lovely to have you here. I am also a Twitch streamer and I create gaming content here on YouTube. If you wanna check the gaming content out, you can click the link up here. And if you wanna come and hang out live or check out any of my other social media, the link to that is down below in the description box. And if you're not new, Welcome, welcome back. The last episode, or almost like two episodes, were bonkers. So much happened. We, in the first of the two, we got like Sam's backstory from when Dean was in hell. We found out that Sam and Ruby had a little bit of a thing, which does not surprise me. He even went into detail about that. And the whole case was about a girl called Anna. Now, Anna was able to hear angels talk, so clearly the demons really wanted her because she's basically an angel radio. Well, turns out in the episode after that, well, maybe in that first episode, that the angels wants her too. But the demons wants her to use her and the angels wants her to kill her so like great right amazing either way we do learn in the second episode that anna is actually a fallen angel she disobeyed and disobeying is one of the worst things that you can do in heaven that and like not believing i suppose is like the worst things you can do as an angel so she lost her grace and fell to earth and then she's been living life as a human not knowing that she was an angel, she didn't remember it up until that point where she got help from the boys and they managed to help her to get to remember that, basically. Now, it seemed like both Anna and Dean also liked each other, so um, they had their little thing, which results in Sam having a thing with a demon and Dean having a thing with an angel, which is yeah <laughs> interesting to say the least i'm happy for them though they deserve happiness they deserve all of that so like good on you boys we have this epic fight they managed to together plan like basically trick both sides so they managed to trick the angels to come there and also the demons and then they kind of fight it out and I am not 100% sure what happened to Anna. She got her grace and she like disappeared in this like bright light. But what exactly happened with her? I am not 100% sure of. I do hope she's okay. But I don't know what happens when an angel takes back their grace. Like can they still handle that? Or is that going to be too much? I, I don't know. I don't know. Probably the worst summary I've ever done. But honestly two amazing freaking episodes. I was not prepared on a two part. I was really curious about Anna. And then they were like to be continued. And I was like are you kidding me? And I feel like we learned a lot about the boys, about their past. We also learned from Dean what actually happened in hell, which broke my heart. I will tell you that when I edited that episode, I did not look good, okay? I, I looked like I was very not alright, and it's because I was very not alright, because when I watched the episode, there was so much happening, so much information, so much going on. I like, I shed a bit of a tear but like I didn't super cry but then when I had to hear, like hear it the second time that was that was enough for me that was that was enough it's horrible what he had to go through but I am happy despite how hard that must be I'm happy that he told Sam because I don't think just Sam is ever gonna judge him for it in any way and I'm just happy that at least He's been able to say it out loud. I don't think there's anything that Sam can do, but the fact that he said it out loud, and I think that in a way solidifies it for himself, which is hard, but the only way he's ever gonna be able to deal with it. I don't think it's ever something that he's gonna let go of. Like, I think that's something that's gonna be stuck with him forever. And I don't know if he's ever gonna be able to forgive himself, even though he held out for 30 out of 40 years, which is, it's just unbelievable, but I, I don't know if he's ever going to be able to forgive himself, which really sucks, but I guess, I guess him saying it 
might have helped a little bit. I don't know. Maybe. I hope so. It was a very sad moment and seeing the boys talk about it just broke my heart and I don't even I, I don't I can't even talk about it. I'm I'm just going to leave that. I'm going to leave the wrap up there because I am going to cry now when I have an episode to watch. I can't cry now. So without further ado, <laughs> let's get into the episode. I'm like nervous. I never know what to expect anymore. I'm like, is this episode gonna be an in-between or is it gonna take me like and just be gut-wrenchingly hard to watch? It's it's interesting. You never really know with Final Fantasy. Oh, what am I saying? I mean supernatural. <laughs> Can't believe I said Final Fantasy. Oh, okay. That's another door opening. I I thought they filmed his door from the other side. Oh <gasps> no! Oh my god, that's so creepy. You? You? What? Wait, what does that mean? Stay away from me. Well, how does he know her? Why did he react like that? <gasps> okay, she is really scary. It's always like bl super bloody and blood splat free. Family remains. Okay, that's an interesting name of an episode. I that could go either way, I feel like. Sleeping in the car must be so hard for Sam, considering how tall he is. Flippin' heck. Like you're looking for a job? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, yep, that is what I'm doing. Can't sleep, can he? We just finished the job like two hours ago. Adrenaline's still pumping, I guess. I guess you can't sleep for some other reason. I am all for working. I really am. But you got us chasing cases nonstop for like a month. Well, that's kind of how Sam was when everything started right when he Good. found out no, about himself that was him so trying to save everyone forever. what am i running from <laughs> yourself probably no, that's definitely that i don't think he can but i think he needs to Threaten focus Nebraska, on other things to not town. think about it. and i i understand that i actually do no signs of forced entry sounds like a ghost yes it does yes it does <laughs> sounds like oh okay fine <laughs> I know that Dean knows what he's doing, but I can't really blame him here because he has told Sam they did speak about it and I don't know if talking about it continuously is gonna help. Like, how do you cope with something like that? I feel like there's not really much that he can do at this point other than trying to live his life, if that makes any sense. Like, I, I think some things you need to really face and work on, but... This one is very different. Like, maybe there is a way. I don't... I'm obviously not a psychiatrist or anything like that, but I can understand that he's trying to, co like, occupy his mind with other things like work and helping people, hunting things, helping people. Or, what is it they say? Saving people, hunting things. Is that what they say? <laughs> Three bedrooms, two baths, and one homicide. This place is gonna sell like hotcakes. <laughs> Did he really just say that? Oh, can't they, can they, I wonder if they can feel when something's watching them, because I feel like you might be able to. Maybe it depends a little bit. But like this ghost is very carefully watching them. Hey, check this out. I feel like the smallest thing is going to make me jump. I'm very jumpy today. I don't know why. I feel, do you all have that kind of days? I feel like I have those days where I'm just more jumpy. Never mind. What's that face? <laughs> Needles all over the place. Your power lines. I thought that that red on the window was blood splatter for a second and that they just didn't see it. I was like, huh? Well, that's oh. super disturbing. Oh, I hate that. Uh oh. I thought you said this place was still for sale. This looks like someone is moving in. Are they gonna move within. Mm, moving in with a kid? Kids, nice, right? And they're just inside whilst they're gonna walk in, okay? Not at all awkward. I'm sure they're a great family, but like, <laughs> I don't know. I I don't know if I would dare moving into a house where someone just got murdered. I mean, it's a nice house. It's a nice hey, looking house. You doing okay? I don't know. Oh, she seems not sure about it. But didn't this just happen? How did they have time to buy it okay. and pick up their stuff and move here? <laughs> They're like, what are you doing in our house? Are you the new owner? Yeah. 
You guys are? This is Mr. Stanwick, Mr. Babar. <laughs> I, code enforcement. Are all the names they come up with from, like, stuff all the time, or is it random? A gas leak. Yeah, I'd say we got a problem. Meaning, until this house is up to code, it's uninhabitable. Can't stay here? It's a health hazard. You don't want to. Yeah, you really don't want to. For sure. Imagine being like, we were about to move in. Take your poison. <laughs> They're so good at being so assertive about it. One like, night. how do you keep your One face night. straight? They're like, yeah. Awesome, Dad. I hope this one has <laughs> She's like not one. happy. <laughs> Hooker sheets. <laughs> oh, imagine staying with your family in a motel like that. I guess it's quite easy to happen. So you know him pretty well. Oh, not really well. He was real private. Not the easiest man. What do you mean? His wife dies in childbirth. Daughter hangs herself in the attic 20 years later. Oh my god. That is absolutely awful. Is that what happened or... Thanks. Did he do it? <gasps> That's... Didn't we see... He saw no, his I'm daughter, no wasn't it? I don't know. That was before my time. <sighs> okay. What? You know, like lights going on and off, or uh, things not being where you left them. <laughs> That's like such an odd question to ask, but I understand why. Well, sometimes I thought I heard like a uh, rustling in the walls. Okay. Like a rat? Yeah. Mm hmm. There must have been some big sons of guns out there, huh? This is interesting. Like, why would the daughter. Uh, we both cremated. Oh. But it looked like the daughter potentially. It might be that he potentially killed his wife and daughter or had something to do with killing them. But my ass, there's no asbestos. You sure? Hell yes, I built enough homes to know that. Oh, no gas, the guy. Oh, are they gonna move in? Oh, the, please don't do, oh, don't do this. Oh, and ha of course they don't know. They just think that there's some weirdos trying to, like, make sure they don't move in for whatever reason. <gasps> you okay? Okay, that's terrifying. Oh yeah. my, I would be like, you know what? I don't want to move in here. Maybe we should just go to the motel for one night and let the random dudes do their thing. Maybe we'll be it's fine. It's here, Kate. It really is. Yeah, mom. She's like, yeah, we're just moving into a haunted house, but you know, that's gonna be, that's gonna be great. <gasps> Everything's gonna change. Wait, so either the family or she's been through something, right? Uh, yeah, I'm almost finished. <laughs> yeah, totally unpacking, not doing anything else. <gasps> oh no, wait, is he in that room? Oh, I feel like that's gonna be so... Why does it always have to be a ball? Please, why does it have to be balls rolling out? What? And why is it so creepy, even though I've seen it in so many things? It's like a typical thing, but I just... Oh. You know, this is the time where you slowly back out and run to your family. It's okay. That's what I would do. Yep. I'm Danny. Also, he does know it's something supernatural. Well, he's being kind. I really hope that that pays off. Because it would be so rude if... Oh, he's just... Oh, okay, that's sweet. He's trying. Do you understand? Okay, that's this? sweet. Do you smell that? Also, why does it look like daylight? There and where she's sitting, it looks like night. It smells like a raccoon died up there or something. That's pleasant, thank you. Can I continue mm, having maybe, a conversation? Maybe you should have listened to them, that's maybe why. Vegetable garden. What are we doing, Bry? Oh, the day go through something? On a farm. Like, do they have a tough time? They're trying to start over? A new life? I promise you. We're gonna be happy. And if we're not, we will be. We have to. Also, be. is there late? Are they like? Are they like moving here to like try one last time to see if they can make it work? It must be difficult to like go through that with your parents and then move. You tell them the truth. Really? No, not really. <laughs> He's like, um, actually no. Are they like? They don't want to wait until something happens, obviously, which I understand. But what else do they see? Like, what are they supposed to say? Like, it's, it's hard to convince people as it is. Go. Crayon. Danny! Tell you what, if my kid did That's this, actually kid terrified. Kid if my kid did that, what would he- what was he gonna say? It's not even him, is it? Oh, is he like normally acting out so they really think it's him? 
Something you want to tell me and your mom? I didn't do that. I understand why they wouldn't believe him, though. Oh, that's so Only difficult. Truth. And all you gotta do is clean it up, okay? No punishment. But I didn't. The girl on the walls did it. She wants you to go and me to stay. He, she wants him to stay because he's, she, that like, he's kind truth. to her? I can stay, but she hates grown-ups, and if you don't leave, oh. she's gonna get really, really mad. Alright, go to your room. Like, even if they don't believe it, maybe just entertain the idea, because he looks genuinely scared and upset. Also, I really recognize the actor of this kid, but I cannot place it. I'm sure I've seen maybe him acting in something when he's older. Oh my god, was that a rustling sound? Okay, Buster. It's okay. I hate it here too. Ew, Buster. Gross. Oh my god, is that not? Is that not? Oh, no. Is that not? Oh. Oh my god, I cannot. Oh god. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. I cannot. <laughs> okay, first off, what did the dog do in the wardrobe? Calm down. And also, what, what? I just got molested by Casper the pervy ghost. That's what Why happened. Why did it ghost? lick his... Yes, Dad, a ghost. It's a girl Why did it wall. lick... Why would she lick her hand, though? Knock it off. <gasps> we heard screams. What's going on? <gasps> did you touch my daughter? What? At least... No. Who are you guys? What? Oh no, don't tell me anything's gonna happen to the dog. A ghost. I told you, it's okay. the girl! See? They both know. Your family is in danger, you need to get out of the house now. There we go. On cue. Right on cue. Oh no, Fire! please tell me nothing's gonna happen to the dog. Oh no, he's like squealing. No, 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 I cannot. Please tell me she didn't do anything to him. Did she pull him? No, I cannot believe that. It does kind of look like a prank, but I wouldn't take the risk, like, even if it's a You're prank, you know. First first. You gotta get your family out of here. Yeah. I, one night. Give them one night. What are you two gonna do? Oh, no. Oh, come on! She slashed the tires. Oh, maybe because she feels threatened, like, she knows what they're gonna do. Dude, the guns Can they are walk gone. away? So Basically, everything is gone. How, how did she do that? That's new. I haven't seen. I haven't seen that before. Ah! She's there! She's there! Oh, and of course, when they turn, she, they, oh my god. So goes to outside. Is she gonna we'll terrify right the now. kids the most until anyone Everybody can inside. see her? Yeah, you don't have a car currently, so you might not have a choice. It doesn't Whatever's seem like she's haunting the... Surf. As long as yeah. the salt line is unbroken, this is the safest place to be. It doesn't seem like she's haunting the house. It's like the whole property, right? Because she was outside. Okay, I'm not listening to this anymore. Come on. Nobody's going anywhere until we kill this thing. Trust us. You hunt ghosts? That's right. Yeah, they do. Like, He's like, that's cool. <laughs> like Scooby-Doo. <laughs> He's like, a bit cooler, but sure. She looked like either one of these girls. Her. She was paler and a lot dirtier. Okay, so it might be... Yeah, it might be the daughter then, right? That girl in the picture, she... She's dead. Yes, she is. Killed herself inside this house. Aren't you... Don't you have to tell people that kind of stuff? Maybe you don't. I thought you did. Becca wasn't cremated? Unless her spirit's just attached to something inside the house. Can be attached to something else. Oh, I have a bad feeling about the uncle. I don't care who hung themselves where. Maybe something is going on here, but spirit. I'm not about to sit around here waiting for her to go all deliverance on my... Maybe she's going to start with you if you talk like that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Listen, man. I've got a gun. Okay, I, I understand. But this is making them look like the bad guys. <laughs> they might not have a choice to save them, though. Sam's like, dude. Dude, you don't have a gun. And? And? <laughs> not letting that bastard or anyone else die tonight. Yeah, he's gonna be on this. He's gonna be on the same thing as Sam, where it's like, no one can die. I have to save everyone. Hey. Is he drawing in the circle? Well, oh, so far you seem to be okay, so like. What was that? I wonder if everyone's gonna be able to see her and then maybe believe her. 
Maybe she's just scared and alone. Like, I don't know. Maybe she doesn't... Oh. She might not be a normal Goris is what I'm a bit scared of. And maybe that's why she got in was able to, like, get into that trunk and stuff. All right, everybody stay calm. She's a ghost. She can't come in the circle. Um, maybe she's not a ghost. Maybe it's time to consider that. I have a feeling she can go into the circle. Oh my god, why is this so freaking scary? Oh my god, how? I thought you said ghosts couldn't come in the circle. They can't, she's not a ghost. Oh, what is she then? Wait, if she's not as... Okay, I'm terrified. Why do I feel more scared than usual? Maybe I'm just having a day. <laughs> What if she's not dead? I mean, she is disappearing, so, you know. But what if? What if she's just not? It's not a ghost. So it's just a girl? It's not just a girl, it's Psycho Nell. I'm telling you, man. Some, Human. yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you, humans. Daughter, Rebecca, maybe she didn't hang herself. Dude, no, she'd have to be like 50 years old by now. I don't know. Oh, that's a good point. I didn't think of that. I thought maybe. I thought she might be human too. Maybe she is. Maybe she's just not a normal human. Danny, Ted, we gotta go. I'm good. Danny? Oh no. Even if it's a real person that's just, you know, I I'm just saying, like, even if that's the case, I wouldn't want to deal with work. that. Like, she had a freaking knife and she looks terrifying. Oh, Dad! don't tell me she's gonna do something. <gasps> don't tell me she's gonna do something to Danny. I can. Mm. We will find Danny. I promise you. No. no. Take Kate and go now. Now! No. While you still have I'm a not chance. Not without Danny, no Danny, way! Please. Why? Wait, is there leaves falling? Find your son. The safest place for you right now is in Suddenly? Here. Oh, maybe it's the wind. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't seem like she can walk through walls. So he might have a point. Oh, why maybe is... Maybe it's because you I don't do know what it is. Maybe that's what's freaking me out so much. Like, I'm not able to solve this puzzle. Maybe it's also like, it's a dark outside and all of that. She's human. She had to come from somewhere. If she is... Oh, yeah, I guess she is. So, oh, yeah, okay. Oh, the blood. Every day. He's like, yep, I'm used to this. What if it's the dad that, like, held her captive all this freaking time? Oh, I just... Why would she kill? Why would she be an all against grown-ups? And why would she kill her dad? Like, there's gotta be some connection. He's still not buying this. Oh, I really hope Danny's okay, though. He seemed to be kind to her, so hopefully... Hopefully she'll be kind enough not to kill him. One can always hope. Why am I so scared? I don't understand. Why is this episode getting to me so much more? I am an easily scared person, but so far, like, it's been alright watching Supernatural, but this is just... I'm just waiting for a jump scare to come out and just... You're not going down. Man. Oh, God. Of course he is. Well, you want to? He's like, you can do it if you want. <laughs> Fudge, you know. Oh, that is something I really wouldn't like. Oh, it's a... Oh, oh, he can't fit. Okay, good. I was like, what if it doesn't fit if he gets stuck? Oh, what if she's been trapped in here? Oh, she... Okay. So we're just gonna stay calm. We're okay. Please. I need handholds. <laughs> For dinner. Hey! Find anything? Yeah, her kitchen. She might have not had a choice. I just have a really bad feeling that the truth of this is not a fun one. Oh. I mean, if she's been living in here for super long, then she'd be able to get around easily, right? Why did she draw that in blood? What does that mean? And like, I wanna, I wanna like close my- I need like a pillar to like hide behind. Like a huge pillar to just like- <gasps> It's the worst one, like, I feel like there's gonna be a jump scare. I know I'm gonna jump anyway. Oh, the suspense is killing me. Okay, okay. Why did I know something bad was gonna happen to him? Oh, she did not just do that. Okay, at least I didn't jump here. But I feel like I might still do it in, in another scene. We have to wait for those guys to get back, okay? Yeah, if something bad happens, you might as well happen to all of you. Oh, flip. Bad news. 
Yeah, how do you break this? The thing is, they went inside by Ted, themselves. What if they think right. he did it? Why doesn't he come inside? He's not okay. Because I had to carry him out. I'm sorry. What, is, what does that mean? What does that mean that you're sorry? Are you saying that he's dead? <sighs> he might be saying that. I hope they believe that he didn't do anything. Uncle Ted is dead. I shouldn't have left him alone. And now you're gonna go in there alone? Anyway, I hope they can see how genuinely sorry he is. Oh, I don't want Dean to go in there by himself. Where did he find the book? Is there gonna be something useful in that book? Because that would be really funny. Yes, why not? She killed my brother, now she killed well, my Well, because son. he's an adult and he's a kid, so maybe. He is. Do you remember what he said about the girl who exactly. lived in the walls? Exactly, exactly. She said he could stay. Mm-hmm. What happened to Andy happened, okay? I cannot change that. He's taking this very chill. Maybe he's just trying to keeping it together for like the family. You and me, the kids, we're gonna be fine. And maybe he's like trying to convince himself as well. It looks like the daughter wants to say something. I wonder what it is. That wasn't that their dad's journal, was it? It looked like a normal, maybe but maybe son? that's a dirt. That would make sense. Wait. Oldest. He got himself killed in a car accident last year. Oh, fudge. Oh. Oh, that's what they've been that that's what they've so been through. They've already lost one kid. That's why we moved here. Fresh air, fresh, fresh start. Yeah. Oh, that must have been so difficult. All, I can't even imagine what that. What could possibly go wrong in the country? Hmm, yeah, apart from haunted houses, you mean? I'm getting your son back. He really is. God for second thing I do. Why do you care so much? That's a difficult story to tell. Uh, maybe that was the journal. Rebecca's diary. I just oh, I was like, did they maybe change the way it looks? I don't know. <laughs> Pretty sure she was Rebecca's daughter. Rebecca had a kid? That's all she talks about. Being pregnant, being ashamed of being pregnant. Oh. Why kill herself after the baby? Maybe because her dad called her a dirty little whore and said he was going to lock the baby up where nobody could ever see it. Why would he say that? Oh, what if he did? So the mom killed herself and the daughter was literally locked daddy up. Daddy was the baby daddy too. Dude was a monster, <gasps> Dean. Oh! Oh, no! Humans, man. His own daughter. So she's been locked up in he this house for He did that to his life. own daughter. Oh! She ever seen light? She's barely human. <sighs> I mean, gangsta dear old dad? I guess. I you mean, know, say I blame she her. might she hate sure him. Thing, that doesn't mean she gets a free pass for a murder spree. Like, you know what hell's like. I didn't. He did not mean that. I know. I know that was not the right wording. Oh, what did they do with her? Can they get someone to take Excuse care me. of her? He kept her hidden, locked up. But he had to feed her. Didn't he? I guess. Yeah, sort of. I suppose. The kitchen wall thingy. Oh. I feel so sorry for her, like, obviously this is terrible, what she's doing and all of that, but imagine your granddad ruins his daughter's life to by getting her pregnant, then he blames her, so she kills herself after she gets the kid, and then he locks that child in, the walls. Like, that is horrific. I understand why she doesn't like adults. She's, she's... Oh, that is no, this is like so much worse than the ghost. <laughs> oh, she doesn't understand that he is scared of that. Like, she, I'm sure she's like trying to give this to him and them as like being kind. Oh, my heart. Please tell me they can find someone to take care of her. Like, she might not be able to get like a normal life, but how can you do that to a child? DNA! I said I'm going now. No, it's my son. I know it is. But I said that I would get him. Of course, yeah. Hmm. Dean is gonna put himself in a lot of tricky situations. Oh, look at the claw marks. He's gonna put in a lot himself in a lot of situations where he feels like he has to to make up for everything that he has done. And I, even so, I don't think he's gonna feel that. We need rope. That's good thinking, because he's got to come back up somehow and get Danny back up too. 
I just really hope that this is gonna end with them being able to like get her the care she deserves. Even if she what she has done is not okay. Why was there a cross down there? <sighs> oh my fudgy lord. Uh oh and that explains how she got into the car, because she's not supernatural. Oh my god, that scared me. I should have seen them in like like coming. Does she want to get the daughter too? Oh, I really hope he doesn't have to hurt her though. Like, I know she's committed murder twice at least, but she doesn't. She's not that old, right? She looks like she could be a teenager. She obviously doesn't seem like she knows. Careful, careful, careful. Yeah, upstairs, come on. Oh, I feel like I'm on the edge of my seat. Hurry, he's coming back. This is like. Hey. Her brother. No. You're flipping kidding me, right? A brother? How does she have a brother? Oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, so did their mom have two kids and then she killed herself? Oh no, this is even worse. Okay. Come on, buddy. Maybe just drop the light. We don't need a light, do we? Oh, I feel like someone's gonna grab him. And now they're all alone out here, and no one is like, oh, they no. <gasps> Can they not hear them scream out there? It's okay. Get him out of here. You gotta go. I feel like this is one of the most stressful episodes I've seen in a while. I do like when it's something that's not supernatural, but you believe it is. It, I mean, this is almost borderline supernatural. Oh no, 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 no. Oh, the brother. I know he didn't have a choice, but that still hurt. You might want to get up and out of there, like, quickly. Oh my god. Oh. oh no, did they both die? No. Oh, I hate this. Oh, she saw the oh my if they weren't traumatized already. Having done them was oh. How do you even deal with that? They I, they didn't deserve that. This was such a tricky episode because I I know that what they did weren't right, and it's not like they can just forgive them for it. But they didn't deserve to die for it because they were they were barely like understanding anything. Why does it surprise me you guys don't like the police? It's sort of a uh, mutual appreciation thing. <laughs> You could say that. Thank you. How are they gonna move on from this? Like, so much trauma. No, we're the opposite of okay, but we're together. I mean, I'm happy they had help at least. I wasn't sure how she was gonna react to him killing the girl. Like, if she was gonna see it as them, like, being saved or... I don't know. Oh, that makes me so hungry. He's not hungry? Okay, D not being hungry, that is downright no, I bad. Sons of bitches back there. Yeah, I did too. Long torture turns you into something like that. Yeah. You were in hell, D. Yeah, but I mean it's not like it's exactly the same, but 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 you're not them. They were barely human. Yeah, but you can still feel bad for them. I was worse. They were animals, Sam, defending territory. Me? I did it for you can't pleasure. compare yourself. Oh no, it was. I it wasn't. It, Sam. But I. Mm, it it's not strange. I, souls and I liked it. I think that's what haunts haunting years, him the most, right? All that pain, finally getting to deal some match yourself. Care who they put in front of me. But he'd been, he's been tortured to a point where, it's not strange no that people I see, that might feel good in a sense, like getting all of that out. Oh. Can't fill this hole. Dean, I'm so sorry. Not ever. 
No, I don't. I don't know. That's all. But you have Sam, and he's always gonna be there for you. Oh, I don't. I don't know what I think about this episode. This was such a rough episode. <laughs> I felt so jumpy already, and I thought I heard something. Okay, and I got so scared. And I couldn't figure out, like, I was like, no one's at home, like, what, what is happening, like, why did I hear something? I had a poster on the door. I don't think you were able to see it in the video, but I had a poster on the door that fell down and I didn't realize. I was like, from that moment, I don't know if you can see in the video that I, like, jump from, like, nowhere. <laughs> that was why and I feel like I was jumpy then that happened and I'm like why was there a noise nobody's at home this doesn't make sense and then you have an episode like this it's like the worst combination <laughs> I can't I cannot oh that was terrifying oh my goodness gracious it was a good episode I will say that it was a really good episode but it was hard to watch it was a bit scary maybe it's just a day maybe i wouldn't have felt that way in, on a different day i don't know i am easily scared so like i feel like supernatural is like <laughs> my limit of like scariness that i can watch but also it was just it was just hard okay it was hard seeing dean fight so hard to save everyone just as sam used to do like being adamant at like saving everyone to kind of make up for whatever they did and however they feel but it was also so hard seeing both of those i guess you can call them kids in a way like seeing them both get killed i understand why like it was obviously self-defense and it wasn't much that they could do and even if they were taken care of i don't know like what kind of people they would become but just just knowing the background and i had a feeling that the, the like the dad's like granddad had done something but knowing all of that knowing what happened to their mom all that they had to go through and then like their mom not only killing herself committing suicide but them being trapped not loved never seeing the light never let out in the house like they were kept there in secret for so long i can't even imagine how like that must be I, i'm happy they had each other because i'm guessing they they you know both they seem to be siblings they never really explained the brother i guess but it breaks my heart and i understand why dean feels bad for them both because he can kind of relate in a in a sense but i just even even if you couldn't relate it's hard not to feel bad for them i know that they did things that were wrong but they literally do not understand that that's wrong they think they're protecting themselves and in a sense i guess they were it's just horrible it's just making it's like it's giving me like a tummy ache i'm like this is so freaking messed up and i i hate it <laughs> i hate it so much it was a really good episode though i will say that some really good actors in it and like overall i like when they sometimes bring in something that feels extremely supernatural but it isn't. Like, I think that that's quite fun and it keeps you on your toes. Does sometimes make it a little bit scarier though. Sometimes that is more scary than the actual supernatural things because I suppose because like that could technically speak and happen. I don't know. Stressful. The suspense was there all the time, but a really good episode. Let me know if you found this scary and like what you thought of this episode in general when you first watched it. I'm really curious and also hearing that like what Dean said at like sometimes I almost says Dan because Sam and Dean mixed in my head hearing what Dean said to Sam was also difficult like I um, I know but like even when he said that like he enjoyed it I I'm not too surprised like I feel like that is something that it's not like I think that he's a violent person who enjoys hurting people. I'm not I'm not saying I'm not surprised because of that, but more like with everything that he went through and everything that's happened and how broken he was in that moment and the environment he was in and I just it doesn't 
it doesn't surprise me that much and I understand if that's maybe even worse than what he did is like how he felt whilst doing it that was really hard to watch but really good episode let me know what you think of it let me know what you thought of it the first time you watched it when you watched it with me i appreciate your being here it would mean a lot if you gave the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and left a comment down below let me know your thoughts and feelings or just saying hi subscribe for upcoming videos i appreciate you being here and i hope you'll have an amazing rest of your day night morning midnight night breakfast whichever time it is for you when you're watching this and i'll see you very soon Bye!